Good evening, everybody. This or afternoon. This is North Carolina Pepper. Um, while back, I received that my Cisco. I received information that my Cisco Linksys E2000 router has a, a flaw or a hack in it that you can access and deal with my home automation through the web. Well, I have my security cameras online, so I can watch my phone and such. So that pretty much puts it on the web. So I went to the Cisco site and looked up the E. 2000 router and they don't have a patch for it at that time so I said well let me try to put in a DD uh, DD-WRT uh, firmware on this thing and if I brick it or make it useless and turn it into a brick I'll just go buy another one anyway but let me give this thing a chance anyway so I went to the DDR or DD uh, RT uh, website and let me let me change panels here I'm sure where I'm at Okay, so here we are at the website. Uh, and if you see, I got the link to C2000 up there. And here's the firmware I'm going to flash. You have to flash, for this router, you have to flash this one first, or an older version. In which case, I already did off camera this one here. And up there, I'm flashing the 2010 version. So I know I can do it. <laughs> I was willing to risk it. I'm, I got billed uh, uh, 14,929. And this one over here is build 2161. So we're going to rebuild, we're going to download this flash. I already did. Got down there, flashed it. I downloaded it. And then I want to open VPN. I want this version. So first we have to flash this one. Or an older version. We have to upgrade this so I can do the, the N60 version. But I'll show you how to do this. And we'll go ahead and do this. Uh, download the files. And normally the router just go to update firmware, but on this one, we have to go to I believe it's administration. Or right, let me figure that. Out. I'll be right back. Let me see where we have to get to in the new software. Let me see where uh, where we have to go to redo everything. So I'll be right back. All right, yeah, it's it's under administration and then firmware upgrade. But before I do that, I'm going to hold the little button on the back of the router for 30 seconds. This is called a hard reset. 30 seconds. And then I'm going to pull the plug out while still holding it for 30 seconds. And then plug it back in and hold it for 30 seconds and release. And that will reset the, the router to its default state with the software or firmware. And then I'll get back when we're doing the upgrade. Uh, I'll return after that. Because I want everything fresh and perfect for it. So we'll do that, and hopefully I won't brick the router this time. But we'll see. So let me let me go ahead and do that, and then I'll I'll disconnect all the cables from the router except for the one I'm using to upgrade it. So I'll disconnect the other computers, the router, the network, the, the modem, everything, the internet except for my one my one connection. All right, I'll be back after I'm done with that. Okay, so. I've chosen the file from the thing, it's the initial, the E2000 bin. That's the version 1 firmware for your web flash installation, which is right there. It's the very first one I've done. First installation. Which I've already did the other one, but this one's newer, so this might just take everything out, who knows. So let's go ahead and click the upgrade button and brick our router. So, I'll be back when this is done, because this is going to take a long time. 290 seconds, so I'll be right back when this is done. Okay, uh, it says it's done successful. We don't know yet, but it says it's rebooting, so we'll see here in a minute what's going on. I'll just let this play through, and then I'll fast forward after this. Alright, so we got it, so do the first boot we have to put in our new uh our new um password and router name. This is required. Uh the default one I think on these is root and then min I think is the default. But I'm gonna change it right now to my personal things. But if you look up here, you can see we got the new version up there. Somewhere. There we go. 
That's a new version for this year. Or 20, or 20, or what is it? Can't see my glasses. March 25th, 2013. Mini. That's the basic one. So, if you go on the help file, I'll give you the list of all the other ones. Now we're going to install the OpenVPN one. After I do the password, I'll be right back. Okay, so everything's done now. Got the links that's in there. All the information on the status page. Let me zoom out for you. There's all that good stuff there. Now, we can go in and change everything we want, but we're going to go ahead and do another upgrade. So we're going to do a 30, 30, 30 flash. I'm going to hold the button for 30 seconds. I'm going to pull all the, all the while holding the button. Hold the button 30 seconds. Pull the power out for 30 seconds. And plug it back in for 30 seconds. And then release the button and reset everything. It does all the RAM and resets everything back and organizes it before I do the next install. And then I'll go up here to administration again. Nope. That's not it. I'll have to authenticate. So, I'll have to do that. Sorry about that. I got a phone call right in the middle of that. <laughs> so, the, the default password is amend and, and root. Okay, so we did that. And then, um, we got to go in now and hit a firmware upgrade. And, uh, we're going to reset to default setting. And then I'm going to choose a file, but I don't want to show my structures. Hold on. Okay, so it's OpenVPN. Uh, the OpenVPN one, which is this one down here. Somewhere. Wait, camera stuck. That's it down there, the bottom one. The OpenVPN is the one I chose. Okay. No, second to the bottom. Sorry, this one. Right here. Open VPN. So I chose that one. So let's go ahead and continue. Let me zoom in for you. And we're gonna, we chose the file and we're going to upgrade again. And then I'll be able to do my own VPN on here. And that's basically it. So when this thing's all done again, I'll I'll bring back up and we'll enter our new password. I'll enter the real password and the real uh, system name, and then maybe I'll do a secondary one on setting up or not. I don't know, but it'll be unsecured with the Wi-Fi and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and just set that up to probably WPA2. Um, what's a whatever a something encryption? I'll, I'll do another video on that later on, but. I just want to do this one right now on, on go ahead and flash the firmware because a lot of people have questions because the, the wiki on the page doesn't give you all the information. I went by the wiki and then I came back here after reading and says no, I'll do this one instead. So, because you can't go from there. Can I zoom in? Is it out? I don't know. I can't go from, um, from the wiki version up to the latest versions. So, you have to get the one from 2013. To upgrade the the NV60s, which are the current current firmware, so I want the latest and greatest protections. Uh, they wouldn't upgrade them if they didn't have flaws, and I think all these things are in beta anyway. But whatever. All right, so I'll be back when this thing's all done. Okay, I entered my new name and password and all that good stuff. So as you can see up here, I think there we go. You can see we're using the new version. And it's a 315 or 325 13 VPN, all that good stuff. It's got the VPN. So if we go down here and zoom back out, we would go to services and VPN is where we'd set up our open VPN on this one. So it's all over there. So we'll go there, but we'll do that another time. But let's get to wireless. And we want to change our wireless security right off the bat before anything. We want to go WPA2 uh, personal. And then this is the TKIP is the old way of doing it. I don't have any old devices, so I'm going to AES. And then I'll put the password in here. And uh, apply settings, and that's pretty much it. So 
That's the first thing I do before you set anything else up, is secure your router. And now we're secure from chat, uh, hacks from China and all that good stuff. And our home automation will not be displayed on the net through a back door. So there you go. This is NCP, North Carolina Pepper. And, um, you know, uh, write questions if you have questions. I know it's a kind of long video, but it was important to do. And you need to look up. And I'll, I'll see if I can find a link to the hacked router things and see if your router's been compromised and what you need to do about it, if you can get upgraded or not. I think it was specifically links to that were attacked, but I'm not sure. It's a couple months ago, but I've been having out of town and stuff, so. Alright, well, there you go. Please rate, subscribe, have a good day, thanks.